It's a formation change as well, isn't it? You know, we've seen him play 3-5-2 against Barnsley. I thought that was more of a kind of strategy to match up his opposition, but, you know, it's all holy we go. Misplaced header there, and here Jeju lashes it into the stand. Golden opportunity for Bristol City's number nine. As you said, it, you know, the, the changes in the team, and you can just see Harley Dean just getting caught up, and, you know, that's what we want to see. Mix a play up, Jeju on the shoulder, able to kind of cause big problems there, and he want to be doing better with a chance like that in the first two minutes. He just trashes at it, probably doesn't like Birmingham City. Good composure there from Thomas Callas, and Lansbury finds Jeju. Semenyo continues his run, he's goal side of the defender here. Almost finds Naki Wells at the back post. Eventually, it's cleared by Harper. It does seem to be down that Birmingham City left-hand side that's causing problems. Pedersen and Harley Dean haven't started the game well at all, and Semenyo looks like to be causing them a nightmare. And he's just playing inside the, the two of them. There's a big space from there to exploit, and you know now he realises get down the outside, and you're just looking for a number nine, maybe Jeju to make that run across the near post just to slot that in. Really good positive signs in this early uh, early stages of the game. Bristol City will want to capitalise before Birmingham make any changes. That back three struggling with the pace of Semenyo. As Palmer's early pass is unsuccessful. It's a lovely take, isn't it? The way he takes that ball and receives it. And I just think he'll open himself up some really, really good gaps and positive bits of play and just getting the runs off him. Challenge from Colin stops the onrushing Naki Wells. Sent forward by Birmingham. Danger for Bristol City is Bella. Spews his shot wide and off the post from Scott Hogan. Bristol City lets off the hook. That's the madness of this, this game. You know, Neil Etheridge with a shank kick and an opportunity at their goal. We don't get the final action. And all of a sudden, it's that direct ball. And he's. Bella's just playing on the shoulder, and I think we switch off momentarily. I don't know if it is offside, we haven't seen the footage yet, and Bella should do better with his finish, but you can see again, Scott Hogan, you know, he needs to be watched for the whole game. He knows where the goal is, he knows where to opportunity to exploit, maybe. Here is Bella, looking to take on Jack Hunt. He gets the cross away, dangerous off the outside of the post, again from Scott Hogan. The second time he's hit the post in this first half. Crosses in the box, and look, it came from nothing like we spoke about. And it's Bella again, he's down that left hand side for Birmingham. And Scott Hogan, he makes that move. We said that you have to watch him and watch him and mark him and block his run. And out of this shot, I can guarantee you he's not doing anything. And then it's a sharp run across that near post. He beats Callas to the ball. Thankfully, that post is there to save us again. He's not started again great, you know. You know, I just think you've got Thomas Callas next to him now as captain. You want to get around him a little bit, encourage him and just get him going. I think in possession he's just been a little bit untidy. And it's fallen kindly here for Casey Palmer to open the scoring. And he does, he buries it in that far corner. And in the week he became a father, Casey Palmer opens the scoring here at St Andrews. Well, hasn't he earned that? He's absolutely earned that goal. He's been tenacious in the tackle. He's been everywhere, stopping Birmingham City playing out. And he does the exact same thing here. You just get it before this replay. He turns the ball over and so composed in front of the goal. Something he's we've not seen in this game so far. And just slots it into that far corner. And the week he becomes a dad again, fantastic for him. Fourth goal of the season for Casey Palmer. And he's followed up his goal at the Liberty Stadium from that corner. Nobody was taking charge at the heart of that Birmingham City defence. And that's it. Really poor back pass. And it's another goal. And it's exactly the same from Antoine Semenyo. Carbon copy from his goal at the Liberty Stadium. He's done it again. And Bristol City double their lead. And hopefully have put the game to bed at St Andrews. Well, it's another exceptional finish from Antoine Semenyo. <laughs> but it's again the, ten the tenacity, the willingness to press. Casey Palmer's goal comes off the back of a press. And now Antoine Semenyo sniffs it, thinks, OK, that pass isn't going there. And what did we say about the defenders and the goalkeepers potentially going to make an error today? And they do, and it leads to a goal. And we were saying 15 minutes, they were building a little bit of momentum, but we were limiting them to very little. Opportunity to press high, gets his rewards. Who would have thought his two championship goals would have come in that fashion?
thoroughly deserved though from Antoine Semenyo. Worked so hard this afternoon. Showing so much endeavour. And he puts Neil Etheridge under pressure. We said he was capable of a mistake. And Semenyo gets his reward. He worked with was so like encouraged by him. And he'll also be encouraged seeing him come on here for the last 15 minutes. You know, he's a big part of what they do there. Go on, Hold Callum. up play. Superb there. Here is Callum O'Dell. Yeah. And he makes it three. And he wraps the game up. Returning from injury, Callum O'Dowd, her first touch of the game. And he puts this one to bed. The mystic rage comes back. He starts talking about Callum O'Dowd and we get another goal. But look, he's just come on the pitch. He's hard to mark. He picks up different positions and it's a great little run. Lovely true ball. Perfect weight on it. And just toe pokes it under the oncoming Neil Etheridge. But Casey Palmer again, goal, assist, he's been a part of everything today, superb, but it's a lovely little finish, you know, gets ahead of the defender, Roberts, and you know, there's no chance, the goalkeeper's just rushing off his line, he knows to take it early because the goalkeeper's fully committed, lovely little finish, just goes under the goalkeeper, and now you're talking about he'll be happy to get back and get 15 minutes, he'll be even happier getting a goal. But are there more goals? Here is Jack Hunt, and he's spotted plenty of red shirts forward. Here's Callum O'Dowder again, squares it, almost four, and a second for Casey Palmer. Bristol City now carving open this Blues defence at will. This is just a joy to watch. Jack Hunt eyes up the pitch, unbelievable diag pass, straight into Callum O'Dowder's path, Casey Palmer backing up every single attack. Fair play to Neil Etheridge, he's had a very difficult game, makes the save low down to his left-hand side. Doesn't catch it that clean, Casey Palmer, I think he's gone off celebrating, he thinks that that's a goal, but it really is. It's, it's good to watch. Defensively, though, everything I feel in the second half, all our success in the second half, comes from a place of good balance and good, solid defensive shape. Sessegnon in no rush to take this throw in. And there it is, the full-time whistle at St Andrews. A complete performance for Bristol City. As I talk, Aranka and Nigel Pearson share a warm embrace there. Callum O'Dowder on your picture as well. Among the goal scorers, a very convincing display. Casey Palmer got things underway with a stunning goal. Semenyo followed that goal at the Liberty with another one exactly the same. And there was Callum O'Dowder on his return. The final score at St Andrews, Bristol City 3, Birmingham City 0.